Hi everyone, this is Diane and I have completed the two Kate Greenaway journals that I've been working on and I would like to share them with you. Um, the digital papers that I used inside the journals is a digital kit from uh, Studio 28E and I will link that below. I used images, pages from various books that had Kate Greenaway illustrations. One of them was um, I think it was called A Garden of Days. Actually, I have it. I have it right here. It's a large one. Well, The Illuminated Book of Days is what it is. So it's kind of like, almost kind of like an almanac or something. It just has information in it, lots of trivia and information, and it's illustrated with Kate Greenaway illustrations. I also used a page in each signature out of this cute little book, Mother Goose or the Old Nursery Rhymes. So I just removed signatures as a folio and included them in the center of each signature. And then I also had some small pages from a little book called The Language of Flowers and I used things out of that. Um, so let's just start. Let's just get into one of the books. They measure five and a half by eight and a half and they're both the same. Um, the cover illustrations, I'll bring this one back here for now, the color, cover illustrations are both from that larger book I just showed you. The Why can't I ever remember the name of that? I just read it. Illuminated Book of Days. Um, so this one represents the month of June and this one represents the month of August. I had asked you in, a, in the other video that I did on these journals if you thought I should leave the months on here or cover them with lace and it was mixed. Some of you said cover and some said leave but most people said leave and I like them the way they are so I left them. Um, there's a one and a half inch spine. They're not quite as thick as normal even though they actually have more pages than um, a lot of my books do but there's no coffee dyeing in here so it doesn't make the books fat and maybe not as many pockets and embellishments but there are still plenty. Uh, I used some Chinese braid on the edge of the fabric and then put some pretty cotton lace on the spine. On the inside, I covered it with this pretty scrapbook paper. I just thought it was a gorgeous piece. Now this is from a, this is a vintage book plate. And I put this little label on there. I stamped that label and cut it out. Um, because this is what the book plate looked like originally. It had the man's name printed right on it. So, I covered that up. And I, I didn't want to ink that up or make it look vintage. I liked the white there in contrast to the creamy background. So this is one of the digital pages and I put lace on the edges of some of the pages and I also put uh, fabric tabs on some of the on the top so you get some interest peeking out of the book. I stenciled on the white sides of the printed papers and these, all of these images are from the kit. This little pocket, this little card, and this card. They're all from the digital kit. I used yellow copy paper. This is a piece of wrapping paper. A fabric flip here with a piece of embroidery applied to it. And this is a page from the kit with the lined paper. And this is from the Illuminated Book of Days. I remembered it. And just a uh, paper from a composition book. A little scrap of scrapbook paper. And this image I punched out from the Illuminated Book of Days. And then I glued it to this piece and glued it to that stamp there. Green ledger paper. This is from the kit. Um, there's a fabric tab. And then uh, the other video that I made for these journals was me making um, these library pockets and the cards to go in them and then um, the glassine bag that you'll see 
in another signature. I think I put these signatures in a different order than I intended because I did have the tabs one, two, and three, but it doesn't matter. They're all scattered around in there. That's why I looked at it because I thought, why is this tab in the middle of the page? But it doesn't matter. They're not all stacked up on each other. Um, so this was created with a piece of the Tim Holtz um, worn wallpaper cards that you can get. They are this size when you get them. An assortment of wallpaper designs. So that's what the back is. This is cardstock and then this is cut from the illuminated book of days and then I have a, a library card and I put some handmade paper behind it and an image from the book and a little piece of vintage lace and this is the page from the uh, mother goose uh, Kate Greenaway mother goose and it's nice sturdy paper and we have green copy paper here. I stamped some sunflowers there, did some stenciling. I just glued this little note paper on here so you can write on it. Oh, that's cute. The cats have come to tea. This part of the kit. And then I took two of the elements from the kit and glued them together to make a tuck spot or a pocket. And then this trim up there is from the kit. This is a page from the Book of Flowers. And I just cut it out and put it in there so you can see both sides. And this is from the kit. There's some more stenciling down there. And that's the first signature. There's 11 pages in each signature, so 44 front and back in each signature. Multiply by three to get all the pages in the book. This is wallpaper, or wrapping paper, and I love this design with the Kate Greenaway images. These are both from the kit. Uh, the, the two kits are separate, the pages and then the add-ons with all the embellishments. They're two separate kits. And I split everything up between the two books so you get plenty. This one I fussy cut from my book. And here's another library pocket. So this is the Tim Holtz paper. Looks like it just really belongs with this image, doesn't it? And this is cut from my book. This one's from the kit. If you love Kate Greenaway, this is a great book for you because there's lots of Kate Greenaway images in here. And here we have a belly band. This is part of the kit. This was cut from the book and I used it as a little stopper to stop the tag from falling through. And this is a tag that I made with um, cutoffs from that Tim Holtz worn wallpaper. And I took a small strip and glued it down here and just rounded the corners. So there's two pieces of the worn wallpaper. And then that image is from the bo uh, book, my book. And this is from Language of Flowers, another page. <clears throat> I just glued some lace to the bottom of the belly band. And here we have a little flip that's from the kit, and so are these, the library card and this little sunflower tag. Another piece of wallpaper, wrapping paper. 
Here's another image from my book. And I stamped the word kind. I love this scrap of scrapbook paper with this Kate Greenaway set. There's a fabric flip here and then the tab up here. And then here's the glassine bag that we did in the other video with the doily and the vintage music paper, the string and <clears throat> an image from the book. And then to put inside it, I took one of my larger tags and stamped a background stamp and added an image from my book. And the Language of Flowers book in the center book page. I stamped an iris there. I glued some note paper there for writing. And then again I took two images and glued them together to make a tuck spot. And this is a page from the Language of Flowers and this is from the kit. And then this is from the kit and I glued that on as a pocket, put my signature there and just tucked in another page from the Language of Flowers. I will probably tie some seam binding or something around these books. They're not fat at all so they don't need to be you know really secured but I'm used to doing that so I'll probably do that. So then this book has a vintage yellow and white gingham. I think it's from a curtain, a handmade curtain. Um, it had chickens on the bottom border and I've used them in some things. But it's a nice dirty fabric. I put again the cotton lace and then some daisy trim on the edges. And it follows the same pattern, so I'm just going to flip through so you can see the other elements. Um, you'll, I think there were two of the exact same tag. I mean, I know there were two tags, two long skinny tags. I think they have the same design on them from the kit. So I didn't duplicate any printing for the pages or the add-ons. Everything you see is in those two kits. This is a piece of paper that I had stitched together to make a larger piece and this part was cut off. So I put this in as just a little flip and I cut, fussy cut this out from my book and glued this label on with strawberries. There's a flip here. There's lines on this paper for writing. and two pieces glued together for a tuck spot. And the last signature, for this one there's an envelope. Oh, it's a second signature. I put these in the right order. Um, this is an envelope from the kit, so this is printed right on it. I, this was a circle with the kit and I glued that there. And then I just took an index card, a colored index card, punched out an oval and fussy cut her from my book. And I put this over the back so you get to see the pretty rose circle if my hand wasn't in the way. When you flip the page over, you get to see something pretty. Wrapping paper here. This is a um, piece of linen that had a uh, design stamped on it so that you could embroider it. Another image punched from my book. And another pocket, a uh, glassine bag.
a belly band. Again, there's a little narrow strip of the worn wallpaper image. Another flip. There were two of these in the book and there were two library cards, I mean in the kit. This is um, stamped on muslin and it's I think it's an invitation to a ball. I put a vintage applique on there. Again, this is two pieces sewn together and I glued on this image from my book and a printable label. I put some washi tape there where the seam was. Such pretty images. I love her delicate designs. They both go in the same book. Yeah. I'm going to take one of these out and swap it out for a tag in that book because each book was supposed to get one of those. And then on the back, I glued this image from the kit and tucked in a page from my little book. So these are both in my shop now when the video goes up. And uh, if they're not there, it's because they've already sold. And uh, I don't know what I'll be doing next, but I'm sure it will be something fun. I will see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.